Good morning everyone. It's Monday, 30th July, and I'm here to read you the top stories of the day. MK Stalin issued a statement over M Karunanidhi's health condition, stating, "There was an unexpected setback in his health, but after intense medical care, he's normalizing." Doctor's team is continuously monitoring him. Appeal to cadres to not indulge in violence or disturb police or public. A Raja urged supporters to retreat home in order to protect the law and order situation outside Kaveri Hospital. The police had conducted a lathi charge late last night to disperse the increasing crowd outside the hospital where the DMK chief is undergoing intensive medical treatment. Over a week after 31-year-old Rakbar Khan was beaten to death in Alwar by a mob that suspected him of smuggling cows, a mahapanchayat was held in Nus Kolgaon on Sunday morning to promote peace and brotherhood and to ensure that the accused in the matter were punished. The event was organized by Rakbar Insaf Committee, comprising 40 people from five villages and was attended by hundreds from Haryana, Rajasthan and Delhi. Ramzan Chaudhry, president of the All India Mewati Samaj said, "The main demands we're making is that the investigation be carried out under the supervision of a sitting judge of the Supreme Court and that the family be given compensation of rupees 50 lakh by the Rajasthan government as well as a government job for Akbar's widow." He also stated that the group wanted the government to bear the expenses of education for Akbar's seven children. and arrest the accused immediately The Arak Valley is home to several nomadic tribes who live in small clusters of 70 to 150 homes in rugged and inaccessible terrain often undocumented in government records Until a few years ago these communities were unaware of government healthcare policies The death of a child or a woman during pregnancy or childbirth was common and they were resigned to it. Today, 38 women from these tribes have broken societal and cultural barriers to train as nurses and provide medical care to over 1000 hamlets across the Araka, Paderu and Chintapalli mandals. Since they're from these communities, the women have been able to forge trust in their families and neighbors about formal healthcare. As a result, these remote villages have now had the first childbirth in a hospital, the first delivery by a trained nurse, and the first mother to not lose a child. The outcome is evident in figures. According to the 2011 census, the maternal mortality ratio in Araka Valley was over 400 per 100,000 live births, more than double the national average. In the last 2 years however there have been no deaths during pregnancy or childbirth. Rescue boats have been kept on standby in Delhi and officers of the irrigation and flood control department have been directed to keep a vigil on low-lying areas. As of 5 p.m. on Sunday the water level was at 205.5 meters. higher than the danger level of 204.83 meters and the highest since 2013 with 6 lakh cusex of water released by haryana on saturday which will reach delhi in 48 to 72 hours the level is likely to rise to 206.6 meters presiding over an emergency meeting on the status of the water level haryana chief minister manohar lal khatter directed officials to be prepared to deal with any untoward situations in the districts through which the water flows meanwhile near lohe kapul reporters found that there were just 15 tents for close to 50 families many living nearby waited with their belongings packed and said that they would move if the water level rose further a number of these families described the difficulties of the situation calling to attention the lack of adequate food sanitation facilities and accommodation A diagnostic test for TB meningitis the most severe form of TB with nearly 100% sensitivity and about 91% specificity has been developed by multi-institutional team led by professor Jaya Sivaswami Tyagi 
from the Department of Biotechnology at AIIMS. The performance of the diagnostic test was evaluated in 87 cerebrospinal fluid samples obtained from pediatric subjects and the results were published recently in the journal Tuberculosis. The currently used diagnostic methods suffer from huge limitations in terms of poor sensitivity and long turnaround time of up to 8 weeks. In India, where the prevalence of TB meningitis is high, one in six patients tested by expert, the current system, are often missed. Professor Tyagi said that the new system takes only 30 minutes to get the result as it uses an electrochemical sensing platform. It has taken the team at AIIMS about 10 years to reach this level of development. We round up this morning with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 76.27 rupees per litre and diesel for 67.83 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 79.22 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.63 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 83.71 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.01 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 79.14 rupees per litre and diesel for 70.52 rupees per litre.